There's a place in Columbus, Ohio known for its dogs and the independence that they bring to their owners. David Holton, who lives here in Louisville, has experienced it firsthand, and it's why he keeps going back. For David Holton, a house is not a home without his dogs. And what difference has a dog made in my life? It's made all the difference in the world. For Holton's newest dog, Coach, there's quite a bit riding on his shoulders. Hey, my boy, dog. All right, let's go for a walk. Come on. The level of trust that you got to have. He's a guide dog trained to be at his side every step of the way. His eyes to the world Holton hasn't seen for almost five decades. At the age of 10, I lost my sight and life as I knew it was over. I had a brain tumor and it damaged my optic nerve. My parents did everything they could to figure out why I was having these head splitting headaches, but it went undetected till it was too late. When he was 18 and enrolled at Moorhead State, Holton's parents took him to Pilot Dogs in Columbus, Ohio. It's a nonprofit that trains dogs for people who've lost their vision or hearing. All five of my working dogs have come from there. He lost his last dog, Rock, to cancer in January. We had a, a good 10 years on the bench. I wouldn't trade it for anything. All rise. Holton's a retired district judge from Jefferson County, a courtroom known for its blind justice and the dogs who've sat alongside him. Earlier this month, Holton spent nine days in Columbus getting to know Coach, walking the city streets together, his trainer not far behind. The dogs are trained to stop at steps down and steps up. The dogs are trained to go from corner to corner at a, at a, at a crosswalk. They're not to go diagonally through the intersection. And, and they're trained to go to doors. The dog goes to door handles. Isn't that cool? He can even do revolving doors. Never lost a dog tail in a revolving door yet, okay? The experience, priceless. It didn't cost me a dollar. It's the same for every student who walks into Pilot Dogs. Good boy, Gronk. When asked why he prefers a dog over a cane, Holton's answer is simple. No one ever asked to pet your cane, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no one ever says, oh, that's a beautiful cane you have there. <laughs> to me, it's, it's, it's a great door opener. A dog is a great door opener. I mean, you know, most people love dogs, okay? So it's a great way to meet people. So the freedom is just immense, what these dogs have meant to me. In Louisville, Brooke Hatch, WHAS 11 News.